Hi everyone. This video is going to cover partial omega for between subjects designs only. In the next video, we'll cover how to do repeated measures and mixed designs for partial omega and GES. So focusing in on between subjects designs and mostly multi-way between subjects designs, we have a partial omega squared. And so most of this is actually going to be very similar to the things that we've been doing. Um, but let's look at those specifically in some of these programs. So first up, let's look at JASP. So we looked at this one in the last video, and essentially what we want to do is calculate omega for each line separately. So one line at a time here. So we would want to take year, our degrees of freedom model would be one, degrees of freedom residual would be this 18,250. So let's come over here, one and 18,250 mean squared model instead of sum of squares model. So mean square model will be right here under mean square. So 1676 to the 6. So 1676. Um, I have terrible scientific notation. Let's see. 676 to plus three more zeros. Okay. Our mean squared error is going to be here under residual. So 33997. Our sum of squares model is the one we've actually been using, and that's the same number here because our degrees of freedom is one. So we'll take this number here and put it here. Sample size we'd want to get. So overall, what sample size we have, so we could add up all of these in. Um, but we know that residual is n minus one plus n minus one plus n minus one. Two, we have 10 groups, I think. So this is a two by five. So we, let's just add 10 to that. Call it good. This is 18 to 60, okay, 0.05. Okay, you'd want to check the real in against, you know, total lines, that sort of thing. Um, and don't totally trust my remembering the formula for degrees of freedom residual. <laughs> so let's calculate and see what happens. Okay. So we should get omega squared is really small. Um, but, and it's so small it's running off the page. And so it actually says that the confidence interval does not include zero. And so let's see over here what JASP suggests the um, omega squared is, and it's 0 0.002. So what's happening is the decimals are out further than two decimals. Now we show you two decimals because that's APA style. Um, and in this particular case, um, you could use the formula to hand calculate out to like 10 degrees, but I would say that if your effect size does not pop up as 0, 1 or more, you might consider if it's worth um, saying that this is practically important. Okay. Now we would do that three times, once for each line. Now if we wanted to look at SAS output, remember that the, um, oh I totally did get it right. Look at me go. I remember my formulas for ANOVA off the top of my head. So it's 18,260 is N because corrected totals big N minus one. That revelation aside, what we would use is this is the error term. Oh, that's sum of squares. We want mean square. Hold on, hold on. Let me back up and think about the formula. So we would use one, let's just do one of them. Let's do type here. So we've got four and 18,250. So we have four, 18,250. My mean square model, so my mean square model for type is this big old number here. So 1988543. So 1988543. My mean squared error is up here, this one, 33996. <clears throat> so we had rounded this up from before. My sum of squares model is this one here. So 7954374. And a n is still correct. And let's use 0.05. So now I've gotten that omega is 0.11 and this confidence interval does not include zero. All right, so with um, SAS, what you have to do is use the error terms from up here. So the mean squared error, um, remember to use the mean squared model down here because you do it once for each one and not the overall. Right. 
So we're not interested in this like sort of collapsed model. What we're in, more interested in is each IV separately. So we calculate one of them at a time. It happens to be very similar to R squared, but what are this R squared is for the overall model. What we're calculating is partial omega here, which should not match. If it does, it's coincidence. All right, let's look at one more. And that would be SPSS. So for SPSS, what you'd use is use the sum of squares over here. So if we did year by type, we would enter this as our um, sum of squares model. Use the mean squares from here. So let's try this mean square. 1, 1, 8, 0, 3, 7 if we round up. Our mean squared error is we're running underneath it. It's the same one because this is between subjects design, so the error is always the same. Our year by type degrees of freedom is 4 and 18,250. So this stays the same, 4, 18,250. And then our sum of squares model is 472,148. Our n stays the same, and I would hit calculate, and now omega goes back to being very close to zero. And so that's how we calculate for between subjects um, to get omega squared. So just making sure that you line up with the sum of squares for your model and your mean squared model and error.